everybody welcome to my night routine this is gonna be like a vlog style night routine like I mentioned in my morning routine not every day is the same so in that video I went to the gym and then today I went to the gym so no I don't go to the gym two times a day it just happens to be a Tuesday and on Tuesdays I work out after my um, antitrust class so that's where I went right after I usually just wear workout clothes to my um, afternoon class on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays and go to the gym right after because it's just like faster. So that's what I did today, but I am home now. It is currently 4.31 and I'm going to shower because I feel really gross, but because it is Tuesday, I have law review today. So we are going to have to go to that later, but that's not until 6.30. So I still have a couple of hours to kind of chill, relax, and also do some work. Usually I will do like some work or if I have some like cleaning to do, things like that, that'll get done between my gym and my like site check time. So I actually have a load of laundry that's ready to be thrown into the dryer and then some stuff that needs to be like air dried. So I'm going to do that after I uh, shower and then we're probably going to get some work done. I still have some readings to do for tomorrow. So maybe I'll do that after just depending on the time. But I also do need to eat dinner before I go to Side Chucks. It's 5.45. I'm heating up dinner right now, but I worked on my CFI reading, so I got that done, which is good. And I was the only reading I needed to get done for tomorrow. I have about 30 minutes before I need to leave for sight checks, so I'm going to eat dinner. I, like, feel really weird. Like, I think I've had too much caffeine today, which, like, that's not new. But I also feel like I'm so tired. Like, I was yawning so much earlier so i don't really know what's going on but i'm hoping these side checks don't take too long <laughs> it's literally my last side check of the semester i'm so happy really 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 hoping it goes by fast and i could be home in bed in like an hour that would be so nice here's the law review ootd we have a very oversized sweatshirt like quarter zip representing the women's law society of illinois and black leggings from Gymshark. Very basic, very comfortable. I'm just ready for this to be over. I just got home, it's 7.20, so site checks went by pretty quickly and it was the last one, so it was kind of sad. Like, it's bittersweet, obviously. Like, I don't, I don't like site checks. They're just really tedious and boring to me, but I do really like the people that I'm on law review with and especially like the 3L, like, editors they're all just so very kind and like really fun to be around and so we always have like good times every Tuesday night so it's gonna be nice having my Tuesday nights free but it's gonna feel so weird like I remember last week I didn't have to go to site checks um because it was con like class conflict situation and it felt so strange to have my Tuesday night off like it was so weird I didn't know what to do with myself uh so I'm gonna have to get used to that feeling, which is gonna be nice, but also just like, like I said, bittersweet because I do enjoy the people that I work with. And the 3L editors were so kind and they bought us pizza for the last day and there was chips and Gatorade and stuff. So it was good, I had fun, um, but I am home now and I still have a slice of pizza left, so I'm gonna eat that and watch or finish the episode of The Resident. And then I need to fold laundry, so I have like, all the stuff air drying, but the actual dryer finished running through while I was at Site Check. So I have to fold my laundry, which I don't like doing, but I'll probably just like listen to an audiobook or put on an episode of TV or YouTube or something and fold laundry 
doing that so I can stay entertained because I don't like folding laundry. But honestly, the worst household chore is the dishes and you can't change my mind. Like, you just can't do it, so. Now I'm gonna go and I will update you guys later. I'm looking at my to-do list and it looks like I still have some CFI stuff to do. I don't think it should take me very long. It's currently 8.30. I finished up folding laundry and I watched a little bit of TV. Um, procrastinated for a little bit, but I am going to see what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. There's like a hypothetical on canvas that I need to read and then... I need to look at a counseling plan. I don't know. And see if I were starting. So a lot of what we've done so far is like fact investigation. And now we're moving on to like client counseling. And that is the stuff that I don't really know like anything about. Because um, part of like, even though it's called the client counseling competition, a lot of what we do during that interview is fact investigation it's not really client counseling like near the end we talk about potential solutions but like not like a lot of what we do is like getting the information from the client which is the first half of the semester so now that we're moving on to client counseling I'm very intrigued to see because a lot of the stuff for fact investigation was stuff that I had already been practicing like talking about confidentiality and conflicts and and like asking the client questions, things like that. So I think it'll be really, really fun to dive more into the client counseling aspect of this class. I've already read the four um, or the three chapters of the textbook. I need to review this hypothetical for class discussion and then just kind of glance at counseling plans I guess like documents that she has on a canvas so I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna read through the hypothetical I'm not gonna like do it because I think we're gonna do it in class but I will read through it it looks like it's just a page so shouldn't be too bad Alright besties, it is 9.04 p.m. which means it is my favorite part of my night because I'm going to spend the last hour reading for fun and I'm so excited. I try to read for fun an hour in the morning and an hour before I go to sleep every single day. I will make time for it. You guys already know I wake up at 6 a.m. to read for fun. I think this is a crooked. Um... And that's just, that's what we do around here because I advocate for the fact that you do have time to do things that you like to do in law school. You just have to make the time for it. And I'm still getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And you just have, you just have to manage your time well. So that's my little, little spiel of the evening because I was sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to think like, I don't do work because I'm just going to be like reading for fun until I fall asleep and they'll just think that I'm slacking and whatever, not taking law school seriously. I don't know. I just went down a little, a little mini panic before I turned the camera on, but I just realized like this is very realistic. Like this is what every single day in my life looks like in law school where I'm still getting all my work done. I'm still putting in all of my effort into my schoolwork because that is so so important to me like I'm paying thousands of dollars to be here I'm going to take it seriously and I mean you guys watch my vlogs you know I take school very seriously but I also don't want to make it seem like I'm staying up till like 1 a.m every single night and it's just crazy crazy busy every day like yes there are some days where I have to stay up really late because I do have a lot going on and I'm sure a few of those days are coming up because I have trial team tryouts coming up next week and 
final season is approaching. So I'm sure there will be days where I do have to stay up and I do have to sacrifice, you know, some things like that's just how life is. But most days you are able to make time for things that you enjoy. You just have to be good at managing your time and planning and all of that. So yeah, that's my little spiel. I'm going to drink my tea, which fun fact, I love tea. I drink tea almost every single night. I just wanted to make that PSA real quick because my best friend didn't know I was a tea girl. Like I told him that I like needed to get new teas and that I take like sleepy time tea and all of that or drink sleepy time tea and things. And he was like, you're a tea person? Like I didn't know this. So it was just shocking to me that something I do almost every single night is not known to the entire universe. So now I'm putting it out there that I am a tea drinker. I drink tea almost every single night. This is a like sweet clementine um, tea by the brand Yogi. Um, and the that brand has like little, it's almost like fortune cookies. Like they have little blurbs on them. This says, trust your identity, be in touch with your reality. So on that note, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning or night, wherever you are. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.